Welcome back, that's right. I've been pacing a groove in the floor waiting for you to get back. No, no, no need to mention anything more than that ship. I think I know everything I need to know. You paid the Ephraimadian gold coin to some ancient corsair for fairy fare, didn't you? Then he went <coughs> at it tooth and nail with the crew. Yep, that's about what Geshe told me. So, what do you think that ship really was? Uh, the Black Coffin. Ha, huh, well, pluck my whiskers. That's the same answer that Geshe gave. You two didn't cook up the story together to try and put one over on me now, did you? But that's all beside the point. There's something else I want you to explain to me. You see where I'm going with this, that's right? There's been a summons from the palace addressed to you. I exercised my rights as president and opened it for you. You really are a piece of work, you know that? I'm the president of the Salahim Sentinels. I will not stand to be upstaged like this. Well then, uh, she should have gone to the ship herself. Summons was delivered by Rishif, Rishfi himself. Look at this. It's a personal signature of the Grand Vizier. No matter how you look at it, this is a personal invitation to the palace. Seems your magnificence would hear you speak of that ship in a private audience. That puppet master must be giggling in her chair. In her chai. Look at this footnote. It says you can bring one attendant with you. And you, with zero knowledge of palace etiquette, it would probably take one of your adventurer buddies and make a complete fool of yourself. From this day on, you would never have to speak to me again. I wouldn't have you cross on my doorstep. Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah, I get it. Then you can take your invitation and get out. Sure, I get it. No? No idea, really? Well then. How do you intend to make up for this insult? Um... You want to come to the palace? I think I'm going to bow and scrape at your side. You, you... Hmm. If you want me to come that badly, I guess I don't have a choice. But just this one time. Don't go getting used to it. You're welcome. Now we're going to do something about those clothes. I can't have you turning up the palace wearing that. I'd be embarrassed to walk beside you. Hmm. What sort of clothes should you wear to the palace? Well, I have to... Suppose I can show you a few pieces from my collection. Wait right there. Ba -ba -ba. What kind of outfit do you want to see? Um, I guess it really doesn't matter. Fucking red with gold embroidery. How about that? Well, that's for her. Not bad. What do you think? Very nice. So you can actually change it? Interesting. I wonder what they all look like. I think the red one actually looks pretty good. The blue with the gold trim is probably going to look basically like the red one. Let's do, what about the deep purple armor? It's like generic armor. He's like breathtaking. Someone's in love. Pale colors with lace. See, not bad, but it's not very like classy when you think you'd load to like a palace in. Well, I'm losing my my other ones. I better just pick one and stick with it this time. You know what? I like this one. Let's go with this one. I think red is my color. Um, I'm gonna go with this one. If you're not wearing threads of this kind of quality, you'll never get past Imperial White Gate. I don't expect you to have anything as gorgeous as my wardrobe, but try to find something you think will fit my idea of fashion. Start with the body piece and we'll work from there. I won't be too strict on the other bits, but just remember that knowing what goes together is one of the talents needed in high society. When you're ready to go, come and show me your wardrobe. I'll see if you pass muster. Alright, so all you really need is the armor piece. It says you do need 
You must be wearing gloves, leg armor, boots, but they don't have to match. It doesn't really matter. Alright, so let's go to the auction house. Where is the auction house here? Make sure it's something that Dan can wear to you. You know what? It's up top, isn't it? I need a body piece technically, I can get away with the rest. I need something that I can wear. Conflict Badeau. Do I already have this piece then? I might have thrown it away, honestly. I think I kept all my armor. I don't know if I can wear it though. Oh, I can. Can I? I can. Oh, never mind. Let's put this on. We'll be fine. Well, we don't have to buy shit. Cool. I should have looked at this before I walked my ass all the way over here. Perfect. You have all the other equipment pieces, right? Yeah, okay. Bum, bum, bum. Oops, not far enough. I don't want to go back there. I just want to go straight to um, the castle or Imperial Palace. So once my weapons are removed. Take this off to you. Um, maybe I do have to talk to her.
Looks like you should be able to pull this off. All you gotta do is keep your trap shut until it's spoken to you, and everything should be fine. I'll meet you by the Imperial White Gate. Girl needs some time to prepare. Um. Ask when Naja needs to prepare? Yeah, do it. Piss her off. What? I. It's not a question to ask you, lady. It's not the response I expected from her. Now it should work. Yep, cool. <coughs> you know what's bond that gate? Scaly is an imperial ward. You may only enter by the grace of our magnificence, the Empress. Or if you have the Al Zabi citizenship. No place for a mercenary like you. Be on your way. She completely wore something different. Now hold up there. I know how standing around all day can start to grate on your nerves. And who might you be? Uh, I saw Lahim Sentinel's employee. What is your business here? You have just a little chance of passing through the Imperial White Gate. If you come to deliver a message. <laughs> For the sake of something that insignificant, who, do you think that the president of Salahim Sentinels you come all the way to the Imperial White Gate? My employee. That's right, and I are here that the invitation of the Grand Vizier Resfad. You're always saying that anyone with the permission of the Empress has the right to pass through the gate, am I right? That is correct. And you shouldn't have a problem with anyone bearing the signed invitation of her highest official. <coughs> yes, well, this seems to be in order. Not so fast. I have to check this with my superior. La 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 la. Greetings. Gesho, you scared the living daylights out of me. My apologies, President Naja. That's right. I came as soon as I learned your destination from Abkaba. I must simply ask you a favor. The Empress wishes to hear the tale directly from one who has boarded the ghost ship. And you must bring one other acquaintance, correct? It is rare that one manages a glimpse of her magnificence in person. If I might be the one to accompany... Oh, shit. She's pissed. Yep. What a terrible visage. Your reputation has been verified. You may pass through the Imperial White. Halt, where are you supposed to be? I'm a calling to these people. Halt, I say, you may not pass without permission. You do me injustice. I am an employee of Salahim Sentinels and a mercenary in service to your empire. Being a mercenary has nothing to do with it. Gesha? I hate to be the one to say, but your fashion sense may be a little revealing. And you don't look like someone on the way to meet the Empress. Even if by some fluke of the imagination you were allowed to pass through this gate. Before you made it to the palace, I would grab you by the scruff of the neck and march it back to the office. I will not have the, the reputation of my company dragged through the mud. How unreasonable. You may look upon us. Be welcome, mercenary Naja Salim, for uncovering the truth beyond the ghost ship in the name of our empire. We are truly grateful. Your magnificence. However, we are we are troubled. 
Yashutala, if a vessel of the Lost Kingdom offer mad. I understand your trepidation, your magnificence. However, we should leave the ghosts of Ephraimad in the past where they belong. In any case, with the most powerful army in Ugram under the command of your magnificence, there's nothing to fear. Nothing to fear. According to the reports of the staging points, that ghost ship still sails the Cyan Deep. If this vessel truly is the Black Coffin, the symbol of Ephraimad's resistance that supposedly sank 200 years ago. There's little chance of stopping the commotion amongst the Lost Kingdom's descendants once they finally learn the truth. And even without this added disturbance, the never-ending beastmen attacks have the civilians and the commoners ward at a boiling point. It's not just the appearance of the Black Coffin. If Admiral Lusov has risen from the grave, the unrest will explode into violence. The capital will disintegrate from within. Great Walhara. We must... <clears throat> We must speak with the Captain Ruaban and reassign a number of the immortals to investigating these spectral corsairs. Yes, there's no time to waste. Immortals, lower your voices. Silence. That's right. Your efforts have served the Empire admirably. We have prepared a reward. Menjin? This is definitely a puppet. Your reward. Hey, it's a glory crown. A dark orichalcum crown set with a glittering paint painties. Painties, painted knights. The message gifted to the champion of Artugon by Magnificence Neshamir the Second is inscribed in the prince of the crown. So everybody can wear it, but it doesn't Snow fucking stats, cool. That glory grant is a symbol of your trust in you. We are the Empress. The Empress and Art Ugon are as one. Our trust is the trust of the Empire. Our wishes are the wishes of the Empire. Ba, ba, ba. You know. This palace is terribly boring when it's quiet. That mercenary, that's right. Yes, I should like to pull that one streams again. Things have certainly become lively. We have the Beastman, the Dark Rider, and now the Black Coffin and Prince Lusov. I wonder how it will all turn out. That is what the mercenary is for. Yes. I wanted to speak more, but that's right about the ghost ship. We had him come all the way to the palace, but had to so little chance to ask the details. Yes, it's our wish that that's right be presented before us once again. Hmm. Hee hee hee. That was terrible. Did you say something? But most certainly not. Yeah. What does this guy want? Grand Vizier. Grand Vizier, how does the Eastern Front progress? Your Magnificence, what have you been doing in my absence? We do not. What have you done? Is it true that if you signed my name to invite a mercenary into the palace? I have heard the rumors. Your games go too far. Listen to me. If you are to continue your role as Empress, you must learn some discretion. Perform the functions you are entrusted with and to everything else. You must close your eyes and cover your ears. This is the only way to ensure your safety. Do you understand? I'm concerned for your well-being. Do not wish her magnificence to soil her hands with the Empire's dark secrets. You must learn to be prudent as I am. Grand Vizier. <clears throat> there is such a thing as worrying too much. Yes, yes, you worry far too much. Over, over, overprotective, overprotective. Silence. Uh, I'm sorry.
let me remind you, your magnificence can do nothing alone. Right, don't you have something to give me? Um, sure. That's my boy, nice to see you figured out the system. Don't look so glum, that kind of thing should be worn by someone who has nothing left to accomplish. But seeing as how you carried out your task, I'll give you this Imperial Mithril piece instead. This is in the future after you've worked for years, and years, and a few more years on top of that. When you manage to become the best mercenary you can be, I'll be ready to hand over the glory crown to you. Of course, if you start slacking off, I might change my mind and sell it at the auction house. Your glory crown was swapped for an imperial mithril piece. Oh, wow. <laughs> you received one measly imperial piece. Alright. Let's go ahead and put this back on All right, and then we'll put this back in the wardrobe we go to the next mission You must wait one game day. Well, that's fantastic, because the game day just fucking started. And zone up to clean the previous mission before you can receive this cutscene. Hey, after the next mission, we uh, can get guest shows a trust. Well, if we can't do anything right here, right now, I might as well. Whoops. Let's go to the stock, I guess, really quick and turn this one sniper that we have. That I don't even know how I got. <laughs> to look up up to you to see if they're like, useful to use. Ugh, my nose itches. <laughs> We have... Who is it? Yeah, I spassed it. Nashmira 2. Melee fighter. Oh, you know what? It looks like the um, fucking puppeteer chick. And it must be. Oh. I see what it is. White mage puppet master. This is HP minus 10%, which isn't good, but MP plus 15%. Uses Kyriaga spells, three or more party members are below 75%, or affected by sleep. Uses Imperial Authority at 1000 TP. Doesn't really say anything useful. If we have to wait till the next game day, I could. But here's what we'll do. 
We need to kill time anyways, right? Condense some of this shit. Um, whoops. Kindred's Crest. I do want all these actually. So I'll just use them right now. That one though, just in case I need it. Can you go store these crystals too while I'm at it? I might do that. It's the only crystals I have in here. I do have dark clusters. I could say it All right, well, this does this, and they use these. I will be right back.
Oh, perfect timing. So I'm surprised my vision's actually that high. It's just kind of impressive. I mean, I did spend a lot of shit to get it there, but... Oh, you know what I can do? I don't need these, so you know what? You take them. Take them all. Can I give you more? I don't think I give you more if it's maxed. It might be different though because we're like maxed out, you know what I'm saying? Nope, shit. That's fine. Alright, so. I actually forgot to put. Um, this back in the case. Should I didn't put any of them back. Now I need to go to where I know the Moogle is for this shit. Ba -da -ba. Uh, yeah, it's fine. Just check. That's fine. Where do I want to go now? I could actually check Rhapsody's real quick. I'll we'll do another step in there and just until the game day changes. Um, apparently, we did this one already. done. Ooh, let's go to Valara Temple. Where was that? Oh, that's in the city. You know what? That's fine. We can do that. Not that one. I want to go that one. Bam, 
Can I move? Suck this guy. Temple's under siege. Are we too late? What happened? Mass man, a mass man, several immortals went to quell the threat, but we haven't heard a word in hours. Kind of seems out of place to do it here, but at least we kill time. Oh no. Hey, this is somebody different. What is she doing? That light, it's resonating with a candescence. We lack power. Preparations have not been made in this age. I must make matters into my own hands with this mask. Think fast. Um, we've got to stop her. Or not. Just in time. Get down. Dude, fucking Tenson. Beast. Tell us where the ambassador is, and you might yet see the next sunrise. Hey, Phoenix. How? How do you have Phoenix's life force? That power is not for you to wield. Lord, that's right. It is done. Phoenix has returned to us. My blade is an insufficient vessel to harbor all of its energy. I suspect the rest has returned to the Mother Crystal. Perhaps this is the wrong time, but just who are you? Uh, introductions can wait. We must first tend to the wounded. And let us help as well. And away they go. Do not think you can escape from me. Trust Kagura to hand her to the hands of Anadia. It falls to us to make these men hell and hardy. I'm sure we'll be meeting again. Lord, that's right. I shall head for Sahar Tea House once the situation here has calmed down. Who the fuck is this? Oh, so this is the Ambassador of the Void. 
It's cool looking. Another interesting character to make dance on my stage. Hmm. Rhapsody's just, you know, it's good shit. It's a little spoilery. If you don't do it like after you've done everything else, but. Yeah. Alright, so the next mission is just a cutscene as well. Actually, I don't have to click on anything. As soon as I walk in there, it's going to start. Hmm. I wonder if I should avoid it for now. And if I happen to get it, I'll just do it next time. Let me see. Do we get anything, like, cool soon? Um, Rhapsody and Crimson. 30% bonus experience limit point gains. 100% increase the combat and magic skill gains. Alter egos. Ooh, increase one of the maximum number of five alter egos able to be called forth at once. So I should be able to call somebody else. Interesting. So maybe I will keep doing this for right now. Because they're all cutscenes until that point, right? And after that, I actually can't do anything else until I start doing wings. Huh. Is there a fight here, though? This one has... Let me go in other places, though. It's very tempting to do, just so I can get the other, um... Alter, alter Ego summoned. You know what? Fuck it. Alright, where's that tea house? Tea house, tea house, tea house. Opposite side of the map, got it. Bum, 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 bum. Cause it is weird that it makes you wait to certain points of the the game to continue rhapsodies. Cause like oh you have to do World of Puppeteer to be able to progress in Rhapsodies, but if you can, it doesn't like really affect that storyline at all. You know what I'm saying? Like you would think like you would want you to be farther in this until you you know did that. But oh well. Well, that's right. We've discovered evidence pointing us towards the Azadel undersea ruins. Why? I. But I have jumped straight to the ending without telling the full story. When those injured in the scuffle in the Hall of Binding <coughs> exchanged some words with Lady Alfmau as she was treating him. He had overheard the masked man's next plan. You see, there is a legend passed down in Nardugan across generations about being known as a prime avatar. Perhaps I need not spell it out, but I shall anyway. With Phoenix's power gone, he now seeks something of comparable strength. Uh, so in Utonga Jungle, you sparred with the ambassador as he commanded the power of Siren, another prime avatar. If he turned an avatar against us, it is likely he will attempt to do so again. Recall that how masked women in the hall mentioned needs to take matters into her own hands, presumably because something was missing. It gives me pause. What if the ambassador, not content to see the future devoured, intends to bring his infernal gloom to our present as well? You want proof? I received reports of another vortex which recently opened in the Middlelands. Weeds cut off at the top continue to grow faster. They must be ripped out from the roots. And the Azadal Undersea Ruins may be the key to doing just that. Lordy Avima was certain that the Prime Avatar has a strong connection with those ruins. She has doubtlessly arrived there already, and it would not do to keep her waiting. So I have to go to the Undersea Ruins for that. I wonder if I should. How, um... Where are we in treasures? There are a lot of missions and treasures, fucking 48 of them. Plus an epilogue, that's quite a bit of quest looks like. We are... A long way to go. 
would be nice to have more alter egos though but I really don't really want to ruin any treasure shit for myself hmm could wait the day's almost over just do that let me see so what we're in treasures we are in mission passing glory yeah, okay. So let's actually just head to her. Just to get ready for um when I do go in there. Alright. Um yeah. Now we just wait till uh, next day so we can talk to her. <laughs>